Snestruck. One of my favorite cartoons growing up as a kid was Tom and Jerry because every aspect of it was so over the top. You had Tom scheming up gigantic Rube Goldberg machines only for them to backfire on him at the last second. You had chaotic music and great sound design. And most importantly, you had an absurd amount of cartoon violence. I mean, this show was the direct inspiration for Itchy and Scratchy. That says it all right there. Unfortunately, exactly none of these things are present in Tom and Jerry for Super Nintendo. None of the comically over-exaggerated violence, none of the hilarious sound design, none of the visual gags or creativity, none of the great music other than the main theme which I admit sounds pretty good. And instead, we're stuck with an utterly generic platformer made by the same developers who brought you Hunt for Red October and Beethoven 2nd. Oof. There are four levels with three stages each, with each level concluding with a boss fight against Tom. The story being that you're trying to make it back to Jerry's mouse hole from the movie theater after watching the premiere of Tom and Jerry the movie. B jumps, B repeatedly on each landing will double jump, Y throws a projectile at one angle, A throws it at another angle, you collect 100 cheese bits to earn an extra life, a cheese wedge recovers health, you get the idea. There's ammo to manage, but I never had any problem with running low. You can also jump on enemies three times to get rid of them, and there's no saves or passwords here either, not that you'll need them, this is a pretty short game. The only other notable thing about the gameplay is that if you play with a second player, alternating turns, not co-op, player two would play as Tuffy, Jerry's nephew. Other than that, that's about it. There's really not a whole lot going on here. The manual is only a whopping 10 pages, and that's including commentary on each individual stage, so that should tell you a lot right there. Visually, the game represents the source material reasonably well. I mean, Jerry looks like Jerry, but where is Tom? He shows up for each boss fight, but even then he's still mostly hidden and hardly moves at all. I guess one other thing does stand out here, the music. It's your classic lazy as hell three second loop where every stage one in the game has the same music, every stage two has the same, you get the idea. As for the rest of the game, I mean, I guess it's just kinda there. This is one of the most boring generic platformers I've ever played, and I've played Super Alfred Chicken, and even that one is slightly more interesting than Tom and Jerry. And oh yeah, there is a Genesis version of this one, and you actually do get to play as Tom and see him move around and stuff, but unfortunately that game is a confusing mess, complete with bad hit detection and lousy level design, so that one's not worth playing either. And that sucks because I've always really liked Tom and Jerry, like the one where Tom's a cowboy and he's trying to impress the female cat, he lights a cigarette with a gun and then spells out howdy with the smoke, or anytime Tom is tormenting the bulldog, or when he's singing is you is or is you ain't my baby, yeah, none of that personality is here. Tom and Jerry for Super Nintendo is painfully blah. I wouldn't call it bad necessarily, but there's absolutely no reason to play this one. Avoid this game. But thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.